Child Sexual Exploitation, or CSE, is a form of child sexual abuse. What differentiates it from other forms is the concept of exchange. The fact that the young person or the person abusing them receives something in return for the abusive act. CSE can affect any child under 18 years of age. Although 16 and 17 year olds can legally consent to have sex, they can still be abused in this way. Research tells us that both males and females are abused through CSE. Similarly, both males and females perpetrate the abuse. We also know from research that CSE exists across every ethnic grouping, both in terms of those perpetrating and in terms of those experiencing the abuse. And whilst most of our focus historically has been on adults abusing children through CSE, we're increasingly learning about peer-on-peer -peer abuse and the risk that young people face within their own social settings. CSE can take place online and offline. It can be perpetrated by individuals or by groups. There is no typical CSE case. CSE takes many different forms. A 14-year-old boy, for example, giving oral sex to a 17-year-old boy in return for money. Or three 15-year-olds being taken to a party house, given drugs or alcohol, and then told they have to pay this back through sexual activity with adults. What is common across all forms of CSE is the rarity with which young people disclose what is happening to them. There are many different reasons for this. Many young people don't actually recognise the abusive nature of what is happening to them. Some may even feel in some way complicit in the abuse because there has been some kind of reward or receipt of something. Unfortunately, as professionals, we can compound these misconceptions through our attitudes and our language. For example, when we mistakenly describe a 12-year-old girl as sexually active, or when we describe a 35-year-old male as a 14-year-old boyfriend, as opposed to an abuser. What we also know from research is that an effective response to CSE needs to move beyond a focus on victims and also look at perpetrators. We talk about the three Ps that an effective response needs to have. Prevention, protection and prosecution. And although there is no offence of CSE, there are a range of offences under the Sexual Offences Act that we can and should use to prosecute this abuse. So a final thought, CSE can affect any child and no one agency holds the solution to this. We must work together to safeguard young people from this, work together to prevent, protect and prosecute.